Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video. And today we are talking about the Falcon attack strategy at Town Hall 10. This is the mass Valk strategy that you guys probably have been seeing crush some Town Hall 10 bases. It's a popular strategy. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys what types of bases to look for, what the steps are. We're going to draw out some bases on UDoodle, um, the plans and the types of bases, and we're also going to take a look at replays. So, going to have a very uh, comprehensive, exhaustive video for you guys. Um, in general, the types of bases to look for um, are these three things, very general things. Um, you'll look at it, we'll look at specific examples in a moment, but easy funnel on both sides, so that way you can get your Valks and Bowlers in the base. You want the heroes in the CC to preferably pull the troops into the base, not pull them away from where you want them to go. And you want a clear path through about 75% of the defenses from one side to the other, and then the remaining defenses will go down towards the end of the attack. So this will all make more sense as we go through the replays. Let's start by looking at this base, talking about why it's a good base for the Falcon, then we'll take a look at the replay on it. Okay, so you can see right here, um, this is an important feature. This is going to help keep the Valks in the base. Having two layers of walls, um, it prevents them from swinging on the wall to get to some of the trash on the outside. Um, so basically, the steps of the Falcon are you're going to start with a queen walk on one side to do the funnel on one side of the entry. So on this attack, starts the queen here. It works out nicely because the Inferno is not going to reach her. Its range is like here. She'll step up, she'll grab the Archer Towers, the Wizard Tower, and then walk this direction. Now, the funnel has to be very good on both sides because you have Bowlers and Valks, which are both difficult to funnel into the base. So um, the attacker uses the King as a funneling troop, which you might think is a waste of the king, but that's actually how you want to often use him. He's less important because you already have so many uh, high DPS troops that he's a better funneling troop than anything else. So you can use the king and some wizards over here to create the funnel, and then it's kind of naturally made by this little gap. Um, there's not a whole lot that's going to distract your bowlers or valks. You don't use any wall breakers typically. You just drop everything, let it target the wall, rage it up. And then you have typically three rages and two heals. This standard. There are there is some variation, but you basically rage and heal throughout the base. And as you can see, I said 75% of the base you want to get taken out. Um, you can see it's pretty much dead space here, pretty much dead space here. Clear pathing through about 75% of the base. All that's going to be left up is this stuff here. Um, not including the king, which will get taken out as he walks over. And this isn't a big deal, just an inferno, a bomb tower, and a few outer cannons. The main thing is you get through the meat of the base, the expos, the wizard towers. Don't leave any big chunks up. Um, you want to get through most of the base, and this is a good base to do it on because the pathing is easy through about 75% of the base. So, enough said, let's take a look at the replay, and then we will move on to the next base. Alright, so here we are with our first replay. Um, like I said, the army comp, three rages and two heals. You have the four healers for the queen, and the idea is that they switch on to the Valks. Now, one thing I'm going to stress throughout this video is the importance of the bowlers. The Valks are going to help by, of course, taking out defenses, but they, a big part of the Valks is getting through walls. You can see um, you'd otherwise have to use about two or three jump spells to get as far through the base as the Valks otherwise do. So they're going to help get through the walls, take out the heroes, tank, but the bowlers are still the real DPS dealers because they can shoot over the wall and they have the second bounce. Um, and that's two extra uh, layers of range that the Valks don't have. So like I said, the king and a wizard for the funnel because the funnel is so crucial. I'm just sprinkling in Valks and bowlers. They don't all have to target the same wall, but you can see the pathing is clear on this base. They're all going to end up in the same area. So a great funnel. Um, like I said, that extra layer of walls by the gold storage just definitely helps keep everything in the base. And look, the CC and the queen pull the troops close to the middle. The king will also pull the troops in. That's what you want because that's going to um, ensure that the Valks and Bowlers continue to get pulled through the base and through the most important parts of it. You can see he's dropping the rages and the heels just how you how you would logically on you know the largest groups um, trying to keep them healed up over a lot of de uh, damage and raged up when the bowlers can uh, can target some buildings and like I said not all of the base goes down and the Valks inevitably will leave the base so the important thing is not where everything ends up but that by the time you've kind of cut through the base there's only a few 
defense is left up and typically you'll have your queen and hopefully the ability and a few like valks in this case more than a few valks and some bowlers are remaining and you can see that um, it's impossible to predict exactly how they'll path but if you can reasonably predict that they'll get through about 75 percent of the base then you'll be okay um, so anyway let's move on to the next uh, base and talk about how it was attacked Okay, let's look at this next base briefly and talk about why it's another good candidate for the uh, Falcon attack strategy. You have this dead space right here, which is always a good thing to look for. Um, some kind of emptiness that's going to keep the Valks from wandering um, in that direction, because that way you know your, uh, your pathing is secure, at least on one side. And then in front of that, a good place to start your queen, um, because doesn't have to use a rage, can take out these two buildings, create a nice funnel, have her walk this direction. Uh, use the king over here once again as a funnel, not going to waste any troop space, use the king there, and then sprinkle in the Valks and the bowlers right here. Um, it's a little bit sketchy, the entry, because there's only one building really to lead them in. I think a few Valks go over here, but the important thing and your best uh, tool for keeping your troops going the correct way is the defensive queen and the CC troops, and they're going to pull the Valks the way he wants them to go, deeper into the base towards that Inferno Tower, and meanwhile, the queen, as she enters, can also pick off these buildings that otherwise probably wouldn't go down. And because of that, you can see that as the troops move through, really besides this little outer layer of defenses, everything's going down. So that's like the 75% you want taken out, especially um, the, uh, the areas where there's likely a lot of giant bombs, high DPS, um, inferno towers, stuff like that, the real dangerous areas on the base are all going to go down in the initial push through and then everything kind of exits around here and then it'll walk around and finish it off. So that's typically how it works but once again we have some good um, kind of dead space to keep the Valks going the correct way. The CC, the Queen's going to pull everything in. Um, in some cases it's more about which side you decide to enter than the actual base itself because certain bases um, can be a bad uh, falcon from one side, but you can use it very nicely on the other side. And this was a great place to start. Um, good value from the queen, two defenses, a funnel, and uh, a good point to meet up with a nice uh, dead space here and uh, stuff to pull the Valks in here. So uh, it's a little bit messy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the attack now. All right, so here we go with the attack. Uh, drops down the queen. It's a free Tesla as well, that's good value, and of course the funnel for the queen. Uh, you just want to start your queen basically where you're not going to have to use many spells. You can use a rage, and oftentimes people will rage up their queen, but preferably you won't need to. Um, and you can pick off a few defenses, then have her meet up with everything else. You want the healers to switch on to the Valks and the Bowlers, ideally. Uh, so this is a very good place to start her. She gets a little bit low, but she'll be alright, and then we will... Can we see the top there? Uh, yeah, there, there we go. The king is, uh, he took out those buildings, used the ability. You can see the king kind of split up from most of the Valks, but that's fine. He'll actually create a better funnel um, being separate. And then they get pulled in by the queen and the CC troops. Everything moving through, like I said, the queen can take out that inferno. And then the Valks are just going to continue to work. You just want to hold on to these rages and heals and use them as you see appropriate. Um, keeping in mind the bowlers are the main star of the show. The Valks are tanking, the Valks are taking out uh, walls and defenses, but the bowlers are much better at taking out these defenses. They have the range. The Valks are kind of like wall breakers almost that also can do some damage if they're in the right compartment. So anyway, the healers still up. They will go down eventually, but the important thing is, like I said, gets through most of the base and has enough troops left over to take everything else out. A few hogs sprinkled in while the Valks are tanking. And if you do it right, you might not lose many Valks. You could have like up to 10 Valks still alive as you approach the last few defenses. So good stuff to Yaggle Waggle and has a Swag Hog as well. Let's take a look at the next base. So here's this next base, another good one to choose. And um, if you look at it, you want to start the queen in a way that's going to take out a few defenses and set up a push through the base so that there's not going to be a whole lot of flanking defenses and the pathing is going to be clear and if you look at it this is a good place to start the queen because you can take out these three defenses kind of go over take the cannon out and that way um, 
as the Valks push through like this, there's really not a whole lot of places for them to go. You know this is a very attractive core because there's touching buildings. Uh, the queen also going to pull stuff in. So you know that if you get the Valks into this area, they'll continue to push through farther. And this Inferno Tower is very reachable by the queen, uh, assuming she enters the base. The walk works because the Inferno can't quite reach the queen as she steps up and walks this direction. Then over on the other side, um, uses the king for the funnel, a wizard or two behind him. And even though the funnel is going to be not as good on that side, of course, because the queen's not over there, um, they're not actually taking out buildings that are inside the base like these buildings. Um, we know that the king is going to pull the Valks in, the CC is going to pull the Valks in, the queen's going to pull the Valks in. So everything's going to continue to move in as they get aggroed by those troops. And pretty much if you go through the base here, I think the troops kind of split like this, but everything is right there. Not a whole lot's being ignored. Um, bases that aren't good to attack are certain bases where you can't find a good way to push through and have everything, uh, or at least most of the important parts of the base in that push. If you're leaving out a big chunk of the base, um, an Inferno Tower with like an Expo and a Wizard Tower, um, giant bombs, all that like still up, not being taken out in the initial push through the base, that's an issue, but that's not the case. This is a very good base for it. Um, let's take a look at the replay. All right, so here's this next attack. Gonna start the queen with a baby dragon to funnel her. Um, the, the double walls by the inferno tower, uh, it, it makes it easier for the queen pathing because you know that it um, she's not really gonna be able to target much else besides the archer tower, maybe the DE drill. Uh, so she does go the correct way. I don't even think she actually targets the DE drill. Um, there's just not a whole lot over there to draw her, whereas you have the elixir storage. Um, a lot more buildings, they're going to pull her to the right here. And I think this is one of the examples where a rage is used, and that's totally okay to use the rage, especially with all the value she's going to get on this walk. Um, so she walks on over. Meanwhile, the king is uh, starting on the other side with wizards. It's not important if the king goes in. Sometimes he will, sometimes he won't. The important thing is that he creates the funnel by taking out all these important buildings. Uh, Valks are all been dropped. You want them to meet up right at the starting point. Don't drop the first heal too early. The Valks are pretty high HP. They can afford to be left alone for a little while, but there's the heal, especially over the CC troops. The healer is also switching on, which is good. And then from here, just letting these troops move through. Like I said, there is a little bit of a risk that they're going to come, and a few Valks do actually go um, to the right there and start to swing on the wall. But the, the queen pulls the majority of them through the base here. Um, they start to kind of get a little bit split up right here. The bowlers are on the walls in the core. A few hogs are always a good thing, especially if you're a little bit unsure about the pathing. Instead of investing so much in Valks and bowlers, you can sprinkle in a few hogs because they can make up for the areas the Valks don't really get to. And uh, everything goes off to the side here. But like I said, because so much of the base is taken out, you have the end game troops left up, which is a bunch of Valks. Um, in this case, the king is somehow still alive, the queen with her ability, um, and that's typically going to be enough to get through the rest of the base. So, yeah, that's that's about it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Once again, the main things you want to look for, I'll put them on the screen so you can read them right there. And additionally, as you guys saw the steps, you start the queen off with four or five healers, do a very small walk um, to kind of help create the funnel, use the king on the other side with some wizards for the other funnel, and try to enter uh, the Valks, just sprinkle them in, have them all meet up and target a wall at a point where you know they're going to cut through the middle of the base, get about 75% of the defenses, all the important stuff taken out. Um, the queen, the king, the CC troops, they should all pull the Valks deeper into the base. And remember, the bowlers are what are de doing most of the damage. The Valks are acting as tanks, as wall breakers. They do do quite a bit of DPS, but the bowlers are the main uh, things they're going to be taking out defenses. So keep that in mind. Make sure your heal spells are especially focused on your bowlers if they're hitting a lot of giant bombs. And uh, yeah, wish you luck with this strategy. Be sure to practice it. If you want a video on how to defend this in case it starts to get too overpowered, um, that's a possibility. I can make a defensive video for this. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.